on our way to the home of Chad Daybell, where police have served a search warrant. I'm not going to be saying much here. It will generally be just video from the air. everybody if you're just tuning in Nate Eaton here in the air I don't know if you can hear me the sound might be a little a little problem but we are almost over the house of Chad Daybell we are going to show you what's going on today and uh and give you a shot we're about how far away Chris about five minutes away five minutes away hi Joseph how you doing we'll be over the house in just a minute Yeah, 
shot from the air. We're not going to be up too long. We want the police to be able to do their work. Uh, but we did want to get some video from the sky to let you know what's going on. And it looks like we are approaching the house. So we should have some shots here for you in just a minute.
you're just tuning in, Nate Eaton here up in the sky over Chad Daybell's house. Here's what we can see. Uh, there are multiple police officers here. There's at least one canine dog. It looks like uh, there is an area of focus in the backyard. They have set up uh, three or four blue canopy tents. They have taped off the backyard. And that seems to be the area of focus right now. Uh, that's about all we can see from here. We're not gonna hover here too long. Uh, we're gonna you know, try to get some different angles, but we do know that this search warrant was served today at 7 a.m. Rexburg Police, Fremont County Sheriff's Office, the FBI, they are all here. The FBI told us this morning that they are working with Rexburg Police to collect some evidence. This is not the first time that police have come to this home to serve a warrant. They were here back in January and they removed dozens of items from the house. No word, uh, we're not sure where Chad Daybell is at this moment, but uh, police are definitely searching the property. We're, we're, we're trying to give you the best angle we can from up here as we continue to uh, bring you some footage. And, and we'll go back now and, and show you what's going on.
the sky. We're going to keep an eye on it. We'll have a full report later on eastidahonews.com, let you know if there's any developments. Police are being pretty tight-lipped about this as far as what they're searching for, but uh, we might have some more information later today or tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in. We'll stay on top of the story. Everybody, Nate Eaton here from eastidahonews.com. We are going to flip the camera around and show you what's happening right now here in the Daybell home. Again, we are over Chad Daybell's house in Salem. Multiple agencies have been here all day. Chad Daybell was taken into custody earlier today. There is one backhoe on the scene and police are uh, digging right now in the backyard of this hole. They have also plotted out at least four other squares surrounded by pink or orange tape. 
Earlier today, one of the officers told us they could be here for days. This search warrant could last longer than just today. It could be tomorrow on, on and on to the rest of the week. We'll give you a shot of the scene here. And uh, we'll continue to keep you posted at eastidahonews.com throughout the day. Good evening, everybody. Um, I'm just going to start off with some introductions. Uh, my name is Assistant Chief Gary Hagan from the Rexburg Police Department. On my left is uh, Chief Shane Turman from the Police Department and Sheriff Len Humphreys from the Fremont County Sheriff's Office. Um, I'd first like to start out and thank uh, each and every one of uh, the family members, uh, friends, news media outlets, uh, the public, and all the officers at near and far who have uh, helped and dedicated so much time uh, to this case of uh, our missing children's case, Tylee Ryan and uh, Joshua Vallow. Um, I first want to say that we understand that there's going to be a lot of questions, um, but unfortunately we're, we're not taking any questions at this time. Um, I want to stress to everybody that this is an active uh, and ongoing case, um, and as soon as we uh, have more answers, we'll be able to hold another press conference and we'll be able to answer those for you. Um, I just wanted to recap today's events. Um, so today, uh, the Rexburg Police Department, as well as the uh, Fremont County Sheriff's Department and the FBI uh, conducted a search warrant in the 200 block of North 1900 East in uh, Fremont County. Uh, it's also the residence of uh, Chad Daybell, uh, that's a Fremont County resident. Um, during the search of the property, uh, investigators uh, discovered um, what appeared to be unidentified human remains uh, and an autopsy will be uh, conducted. Um, shortly after the remains were discovered, uh, Chad Daybell was taken into custody and booked into the Fremont County Jail. Uh, there, Mr. Daybell uh, will have his initial hearing tomorrow uh, morning at 11 a.m. at the Fremont County Courthouse in a closed hearing. Um, I will be emailing uh, everybody out. I'll get a list from everybody that's here as well uh, if they're wanting a copy of Chad's uh, Daybell's booking photo. Um, I'm now going to turn the time over to Sheriff Humphreys to discuss uh, the logistics of the courthouse hearing for tomorrow. <clears throat> so the hearing tomorrow will be a closed hearing. And uh, what we will do is provide a video feed for those who are interested, which will be on YouTube. Uh, I do not have that address as of tonight, but it will be available in the morning. And uh, that will be sent out if we have your contact information uh, so that you can view the hearing uh, at 11 o'clock. Uh, this is primarily for you know security issues and because of the virus, the courts are still uh, closed down to the public. And this is one way that we can provide a means for you to see what's going on. Thank you. Again, we just want to thank everybody for coming out. Um, we've needed your help just as much as, uh, you know, as the public and the family and the friends and everybody that's been so dedicated to this case. Um, so again, we can't thank everybody enough for everything that you've done. Um, and as soon as we have, like I said, more uh, answers, we'll be able to do another um, hearing and, and, and let you guys know. So. Can you, can you clarify what uh, the charges are for or charge? Um, at that time, that's, that hasn't been determined, uh, and that's 
prosecutors, uh, Rob Wood will be discussing those probably tomorrow. So, would you be able to cl clarify what he was booked on? Um, I can't answer that at this time again because I don't, I don't know the answer to that. Um, and, and any other questions that we have, um, we'll have to say for a later date. So, so can we reference what was put on the jail website? Uh, if you'd like to, yes. So, would it be accurate to say is Fremont County uh, stated that it would be a felony charge with no bond at this point? Uh, I'm not 100% positive on that at this time. So. Okay, thanks for everybody for coming out, um, and we'll update you, like I said, as soon as we have more answers. So, thank you.